Hello, welcome to How to Play Rolling Pins, a game for any player count. So if you're like me, you like going to the bowling alley, and you like playing cards, and sometimes you like playing cards at the bowling alley, and sometimes you like playing cards that have a bowling alley theme, and sometimes you just like playing cards with bowling characters or playing a bowling game at a bowling alley. Well, if you remember Shut the Box, and I showed you how to play it for free, that you definitely didn't need a box, that it was a simple game and cheap, and you should try it with just a deck of cards. If you remember the rules of that, um, it ha everything I showed you, then you'll love this game. It's a bowling theme with Shut the Box attached to it. So let's go ahead and get started with how to play rolling pins. So you'll need a sheet, and you'll need two dice, and you'll need something to write with. And what you're doing is basically the same thing as Shut the Box. You go to the first frame and you keep trying to shut the box. You treat, keep trying to get a strike on that alley until you are unable to. Now you do have one special power per frame and that is to adjust one die plus or minus one. And so like in Shut the Box, once you get all the upper numbers uh, done, you're allowed to roll only one single die until you can get your strike or spare. Now, strikes and spares in this game are just as hard to get and shut the box. And I really like this game because it takes something very, very simple, which is shut the box, and it makes it better. It makes it uh, into more of a game, and it's a solo game, um, which you can play with as many people as you have a sheet for. In fact, I'd recommend once you print this thing out, go ahead and laminate it and get some dry erase markers because you will want to play this game multiple times in your lifetime. You're going to want to play it multiple times in a sitting. You're going to want to try to one day get a perfect game, just like you do at the bowling alley. It's as addictive as bowling. It's a perfect theme for Shut the Box that, frankly, I don't think anybody really thought of until uh, the creator of Aselco uh, actually thought of it himself. And it's currently as a work in progress on uh, Board Game Geek, and I honestly think this is uh, the perfect game. It's simple enough, and I really do have a fondness for less being more, that you don't necessarily need to have a billion components. You don't necessarily need to have a bunch of stuff in order to have a good game. Um, I just think, I think that's, there's a design flaw in over engineering a game. At some point you make it too complicated where the audience that you actually do achieve is in the hundreds instead of the thousands. And uh, the simpler the game, the more likely it is to get played and replayed and showed to other people because nobody wants to deal with a game that's too complex to learn. Uh, most people just don't want to do that. And the industry is really shifting towards that uh, mindset of we need to have something that is custom printed and you need to spend money on it you need to shell out more money and you'll probably take it off the shelf maybe three or four times a year and I really have a problem with the idea that you pay money for something that you don't necessarily get to play very often and this for free is exciting the only thing that you might struggle with if you never scored bowling by hand, which uh, most of us uh, probably have never been to a bowling alley without a working automated scoring machine. Um, it is a little tricky, uh, but luckily instructions for exactly what to do are on the sheet. And so this is exciting. I finally, I got a spare in this game. It was my first attempt at this and um, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed uh, the experience and I'm definitely laminating this sheet and I'm going to play it again and again. I'm going to introduce this to new people. I'm always in the hunt for something that's free, that's relatively unknown. I don't like telling people to go spend money on something that they may or may not have uh, friends who have time to play with. And honestly, there's something that's uh, very special about being able to give somebody a gift that you didn't have to spend much money on and it to be appreciated almost more than something you could get off the shelf. This is something that is free um, and doesn't take a lot of time explaining. The rules are on the sheet, so very easy to store. Um, I love laminated scoring sheets for various rolling rides. I have a stack of them. 
uh, they are trans they transport easily. I take several games just taking the dice and the simple rule book. I don't need to take the whole box, and I don't need to order reorder sheets. I laminate everything. I laminate Yahtzee sheets, laminate Crag scoring sheets. Uh, have a roll and write. I still need to do a video for Rolling Village. Other people have done videos for it, uh, but I was going to do one because I thought it was a pretty good game, but haven't done it yet and really haven't uh, played it yet because it is somewhat non-intuitive. This thing, the rules are obvious. And at the end, you just score up your points. So if you want to play this game with strangers, come to our subreddit, Card Game Meetups. If you look in the description and click under the more, you'll see credits for everything, uh, including a Discord channel, which uh, you can talk to the creator of this wonderful game and talk about cards. Do check out these other content creators, Gather Together Games, Hogwash Gaming, Learn Tarot Card Games, of course you got Matthew Newman's Solitaire, Stellar Solitaire for software, implemented software, Solitaires, Riffle Shuffle and Roll, you never know if he's doing a commercial game, playing with toys, or doing a free game, and Taylor's Trick Taking Table, which straddles fence on commercial and free. Triple S finally got off of their chest kick, and the Selco who, uh, created this game definitely check out his channel he's got a lot of treasure there she always wins covers uh, mostly commercial games and if you actually like a vacation that plays a lot of games come to Branson they have a great board game cafe and a wonderful junk store right across the street from each other perfect place to spend a vacation day doing nothing but playing games and possibly meeting new friends everybody loves it and you can play Bahama Taxi there so do like and subscribe, and I want to thank today's musician, K-Fly Solo.